for that all life. Sometimes we learn something as easy as pulling your head out of water or as difficult as catching lightning in a bottle. But in that case, what if I will tell you learning is not only good action, but also gracious? I already hear you say, how can you say something like that? Well, you know, from my parents that we should learn all the time and it will be the only way for human beings to survive guilty. In one sense, I recognize your parents. They are right, but in another sense, they're certainly not right. So, let's make it clear what they will be held to pay from your parents. Every people are programmed to achieve something in their lives since they were born. When they learn how to ride a bicycle, how to own a taxi, or basically how to pay a you can't even find any people who are happier than them, because they try it and finally they issue so they are doing For instance, when I was a little girl, I was able to tie my shoelace. I was asking my parents that how I can do it, or I was doing some practice before I go to school. Then, mom showed me lastly, and I succeeded. In that way, I learned how to tie my shoelace, but instead of this, what if, I learn, what if I learn how to be infectious? So, maybe that is the first time that you, that you hear that. It's a condition in which a person suffers from a powerlessness arising from a thermometer of events or persistence failures. It is the most known things all over the world. It is something boring you. It is what we call as learned helplessness. As I said, it is so common. So there are lots of researchers and also experiments about that too. And the first and the most known one is Seligman's dose. Seligman Mayer takes three and four dose for this experiment. He gives these these dose as three groups. And set of mechanism which has electric shock from the ground. And then, in the first group, there's an area which is electric shock from the ground, and also there is a button to turn electric shock off, but it does work. In the second group, there's an area which has electric shock from the ground, and also what's in for turn electric shock off, but it works. In the third group, there's no electric shock from the ground, so they don't need to need to reach to the bottom. So they're waiting for the second phase. At the second phase, scientists give give all give all areas to all areas electric shock. And also there's an area which has like which has not electric shock from the ground, so if they pass the electric shock area and jump to another area, they can survive. And then way, just two groups can escape. Firstly, the group two, two uh, which had electric shock from the ground and also was in for an electric shock. Secondly, the group three, which was held. But unfortunately, the first group couldn't escape, which were able to escape. They tried a lot to escape, but there was no way for running away. So they became used to that desperation. When I think about that, actually, sometimes we behave just like that first group. So, think that there is something inside you which is nourished by your desperation. And also, there is something inside you which is nourished by your failures. As I read in somewhere, Child asks for grandpa by showing me black and white dogs. Grandpa, if they fight, which one gains? Black or white? Evil or favor? Which one I've had, said grandpa. So, if you feel the bad side inside you and you shackle the good side, you lose. But if you feel the good side inside you and shut the bad side, you are too very simple. So no one can escape but no cause. So the main question is how can we overcome learn helplessness? So why don't we prepare a chain to each 
tackle the bad side inside us. And the first way of teaching is being self-confident. Actually, that is the main idea for all situations. We always need self-confident when we compete with somebody, when we attending some activities, or when we are talking to crowded communities, just like that top cat talk. Getting self-confident is much more difficult than the desire. You have to try again and again to have self-confidence, but you can lose out it with distortion of pressure. People always talk about our failures or our work stuff we did, but we should believe and we should start it as early as we can. And the second thing you obtain is being passionate. But for both, be passionate and constant. So we have to be passionate every time in everywhere. You cannot expect to bloom from flower when you irrigate it at first time because it has its time to grow and also bloom. And people behave just like you. When you, when you do something, it should be uh, happening at the first time. For example, some uh, nowadays learning language is so popular. People download some apps or watch some videos from YouTube or someone goes some courses to learn different languages. But somehow they won't speak English or French instantly, but normally they cannot do it. So we have to be passionate and passionate all the time. Because all things are difficult before they became easy. It's all not sad. <coughs> passion is a virtue, and I'm learning passion. It is thought lesson. And the third thing of the chain is generate motivation. When we feel down, we look back and on. Sometimes we don't have anyone, but sometimes we have our best friends. Or our families. When we want to give up, they always help us and make us motivated. One day, I joined a competition about writing a poem. Actually, I was so hopeful because I wrote it about 10 minutes ago. I just waited for the bell again. But my teachers were really uh, hopeful about me. Then we went to Godwin and they were calling some students who rang a month pack free. They called the third one and we claimed that they called the second one but no one got to stage. Everyone was waiting for the second one but no one got to stage again. Then my teacher met me and said, they're calling you, why don't you come? And I was really shy because I was planning to be the first one. But Anyway, I got sick and I really, I was really wondering about the first one. Then they called the first one as Ashton Bush and they played it for a few seconds. Then I looked the first place of the first one. I really started to smile and I felt extremely happy. The story, right? I was, I, I was sad because I couldn't be the first one, but then. I started to smile and I felt certainly happy. Arsenal was my friend from secondary school. She was made to do lots of things. She had some problems when she was writing, when she was reading, even sometimes she couldn't speak, but her mother was always with her. She came to school every time. Actually, sometimes it was hard to understand her because she was able to do lots of things, but she was happy with us all the time. Then she left from school, and I didn't see her again. But tonight, I saw her so closely because she was the best. And I look at the face of her, and she was focused on just one point where her mother was last. And I felt certainly happy not to be the first one because he, uh, she, and her mother deserve that. And the third thing of the shame is seeing the big picture. Sometimes we just focus on a little part of the picture. We try to understand how it works, but forget the biggest.
biggest one, the biggest way that we can understand. Probably I want to tell you how I found that topic. We were in Django lesson and I was really about to sleep because I was so tired. Then I heard a quote from the paper. I looked and I saw a Pokemon. It was trying to get up but it was crossing to the glass every time. Then we continued the lesson. A few days later, I looked and it wasn't flying anymore. I thought that was that, but it wasn't. It crashed into glass every time and then it couldn't get up. Maybe it, 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 it could uh, try a few more times. Maybe, maybe it could get up, but it didn't. It just focuses on the little part of the picture so it couldn't survive. When I think about that, we really do it too. And I don't want to be captured to that situation. And also, I want, I want, uh, I want this focus on the little part of the picture anymore because I'm not here to lose. Thank you. 